Okay, so I just went to the library. Second time borrowing from the adult section. So I'll just show what books I got. This one's A Shared Last by Zuma or Asma. Jalen. Jalal. And Dean. Doesn't have any genre label on it. But it talks about um, Aisha, her Muslim family. I think it might be a romance from what it says. I don't know if I like it because I don't know if I like romance, but first one got. This one looks really freaky. It's called The Need by Helen Phillips. Again, no genre label. It's a bit of a freaky cover. Yeah, I don't know what genre it is. But yeah, basically the blurb talks about someone losing their grip on reality. Reality warping novel. So maybe they'll play around with perception or something. I tried to get some different genres and stuff today. Number one Chinese restaurant. Uh, also, I basically get like on what the covers look like a lot. So these ones, the first one wasn't an amazing cover, this one was quite a striking cover. This one, I mean it was simple but clean, which I do like. If the covers are messy or not pretty I probably won't pick them up. The Thief on the Winged Horse, this looks like it's paranormal from the sticker. And very pretty cover. I don't remember what this one's about. Oh yeah, it was quite intriguing blurb. So it said the Kendrick family have been making world famous dolls for over 200 years, but the dolls aren't covered with the craftsmanship alone. Each one has a specific emotion laid on it, a magic that can make you feel bucolic bliss or consuming paranoia at a single touch. Persephone Kendrick longs to learn her ancestors' craft, but only men may know the secrets of the workshop. So a handsome stranger arrives, claiming doll making talent and blood ties to the family, she sees a chance to grasp all she desires. So pretty interesting idea. Really pretty cover. Farewell to the liar. Again, a really pretty cover. It does make me nervous because it looks quite long. It is a fantasy. Yeah, don't know how I'm going to go with the length, but... Yeah, another pretty cover, The Glorious Guinness Girls. So... Yeah. I don't really know what genre it is. It's set in the 20s. So slightly historically inspired, maybe a family, I don't know. Again, it's pretty covers that I'm basing my choices off primarily. Mm, this one I have high hopes for. It's called Paybacks a Witch. Really nice cover. Paranormal according to the label. But it's about a witch. And I was like kind of on the edge if I was going to go or not. And in the end it's sort of alluded to maybe queer. Queer identity. So it said most concerning of all, why can't Emmy, the main character who's a witch, why can't Emmy stop thinking about the terrifyingly competent, devastatingly gorgeous, wickedly charming Talia Avram, Avram, Avramov? So... Yeah, so I'm hoping it's going to be Queer Witches. A really pretty cover. Well, look at that purple, pink. Those are the colours to me. Okay, this one, the cover is not amazing. Winter water. But the setting seemed kind of interesting. No, oh, 
a gun. I think that means crime. So yeah, the setting is a uh, picturesque island village of Ulrust on the west coast of Sweden. And then like children disappear and stuff. But I just thought that was an interesting setting. <laughs> this one insatiable kind of half got it as just to see what it was gonna say. It's very orange. Um yeah, it's a very weird premise. There's this character called Violet who wants her life to be better. Um, this lady asks, offers her a chance to join her exciting startup. Then she kind of gets involved with her and her husband. Um, so I don't know if it was going to be like some sort of poly thing going on. Don't know how good that's going to be, but we will be good. Alright, last one. The Princess Beard. I think it might be like a comedy or a satire. The fantasy sticker on it though. Um, okay, I hate when... I hate when there's all these reviews on the back instead of an actual blurb. So yeah, it seems like a fantasy, but like maybe, maybe like in a funny way. So yeah, I'm hoping it'll be funny. That's all. So I've got 10 books out again. Let me just double check that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Was I 11? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 did. I've got 10. Uh, different genres. So we've got couple of fantasy is it? Yep, a couple of fantasy, paranormal, crime. I don't think I've got any mystery this time. No, I don't think I've read a crime before. Did I get a horror? No, but that, that um, one with the weird person on the front could be scary. Hopefully it'll be good. I don't know how how quick I'm going to get to read all these. I'm pretty busy at the moment in my free time, but hopefully it'll interest me to pick them up. And that's it.